hint. An early baker is a money maker. Get here on time. Here you go. <laughs> Helpful hint. Nobody likes a crummy counter. Wipe it down! Uh. Helpful hint. A waiting customer is an unhappy customer. <sighs> oh, come on. Bread pudding's helpful hints, not helpful. How would he like it if Sunberry nitpicked every single thing he did? Bread pudding. I... Mm, helpful hint, the boss is finishing his breakfast. Give him a moment. Mm. Mm. I have a scone to pick with. Big Apple Berry Works. This is... What? On her way here? And her little dog, too? She's coming! Coming! What's going on? Every berry at the ready! The owner of the Berry Works is coming. Uh, so? Ah! Ah! She can't be any worse than bread. You don't get it! It's bread to... Mother! <clears throat> what a pleasant surprise. Helpful hint, Breddy. Treat every day like a surprise inspection. And then you won't be unprepared when it happens. Mother, of course we're prepared. <laughs> we'll see. Cream Puff and I have found these inspections to be quite illuminating at my other properties. The Banana Beach Works, the Frosty Mountain Lodge, all managed marvelously. And what have you done? <laughs> Unattended vehicles. It's like we're in a parking lot. Oh, is that why she's dressed like a parking attendant? Hmm. <clears throat> We're being judged by the dog. Shh. Consumption. <laughs> no, we actually wouldn't. Have... Okay, it's gone. Well, it appears you've done one thing right, Brady. <sighs> Unfortunately, one thing isn't good enough. I don't approve of the slipshod way you're running the berry works. I'm replacing you with a more experienced berry. But, but I. Yes, Mother. Hold the scone. Huh? Bread is the reason the berry works is successful. He may drive us crazy sometimes. But it's because he wants everything to be perfect. If you think this place is perfect... Yeah, I do. It's as unique as Big Apple City, and Fred makes sure each one of his friends has... Friends? Oh, sorry, uh, did you say friends? Sure. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Breddy, our styles may differ, but apparently your <laughs> friends enjoy your methods. And despite my reservations about... <laughs> It's the berries who work for you that make a business successful. If they are satisfied, then so am I. Come, Cream Puff. Let's see how they're ruining Raisin Ripple Resort and Spa. You all are the best berries a manager and aspiring fashion icon could have. Aww. That's a fancy Strawberry, what did you want to talk to me about earlier? Oh, just wanted to say thank you. You're doing a really great job. Hmm. Helpful hint. I can't do everything by myself. Berries, back to work. <laughs> we don't need more juicers, Lemon. But these are stronger, Lime. Look. Uh, I can fix that. Ugh. Lemon and Lime are so different. Why did they ever decide to share a cart? They didn't always share a cart. Ooh, flashback time. Let's go way, way, way back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right before Strawberry got to the Berry Works. Wait, wait. This is right before I got here? Lemon and Lime had separate carts and partners. Lime worked at the all-time Lime Truck with Lime Tart. What do you think you are doing? Setting out limes? Uh, limes should be placed largest at the bottom, smallest at the top, less ripe to the right, more ripe to the left. This is chaos! We And Lemon worked at the Lemonade Parade with Lemon Tort. Great butterscotch! I did it! The Hovercraft 800! Not bad. But how 
does the floating help sell more lemonade? Who cares? When you make a hovercraft, you just do it with style. This thing is radical. Radical? Are you sure this is right before I got here? Yeah. Shh. This is the good part. One righteous lemonade, please. This is the all-time lime cart. One lemonade with a hint of lime. You might like our limeade, which we is... We cater to lime aficionados only. You can get your limeless libation elsewhere. Good day, sir. But lime... I said good day. Whoa, killer cart. One lemonade. How about a lemon upgrade? Whoa! What were you wearing? Barry, I looked good. Now, shh. Smooth move. That dude is so over your cart. Maybe tone it down? As if my genius is totally unappreciated here. I quit. <laughs> I can't work with no rules. This is chaos. I quit. Ugh. Whoa, heavy. Those berries need a better business plan. Oh, the universe just gave me a radical idea. I don't know. I don't like tons of rules. Actually, I'd be okay with a few less rules, but I want to sell drinks, not spray down customers. Same! I want to improve the truck, but it won't matter if no berry's there to buy anything. They joined forces and became the perfect team you know today. Why is everything an explosion? Wait for it. I didn't mean for it to explode. I just want to make the cart better. I know. And logically, a stronger juicer would be more efficient. Can you make it less explodey? Yes! You're the best, Lime. So are you, Lemon. I couldn't run our cart without you. Aww. What are you all doing? If you're lost, Lemon, look, and you will find her time after time. Lemon to your lime. Ugh, why are you so weird? <laughs> this small town berry is finally figuring out life in the big city. Time for another perfect day. Here we go with the flow, come on, no time to rest. What can I say? I'm on my way to be the very best. This is who I set out to be here. I finally feel like I can be me here. Always something new to whisk me off my feet. Everything is golden, life is pretty sweet. I'm on my way, hey! what more to say? Hey! Life is better than a fresh souffle. It's a very perfect kind of day. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. Good morning. Famous. Bigger. 
That's how Barry works. Look, I know that clip of me and Raspberry on Bite of the City went viral. But please, please don't call us famous. <laughs> We're just regular. He means me. The peculiar purple pie man? Okay, keep it together, Strawberry. He's just one of the biggest bakers in the city and one of your personal idols. <laughs> no big deal, don't freak out. <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake, I have such a huge... Uh, no autographs. <laughs> Too busy with this! Where did that come from? I give you the crown jewel of my empire! My flagship purple pie shop! Wait, you working here <gasps> with me? That's fantastic! See, my name is Strawberry Shortcake and no I... No time for fanberries. I'm not a fanberry. I'm a baker, like you. Maybe you saw this video where I... <laughs> you are nothing like me. Snortflake, was it? It takes more than some silly video to make some berry a baker. Pudding boy! Let's inspect my shop. It's shortcake, actually. <gasps> what a perfect day, am I right? Met my baking hero. Sure, he doesn't know my name or think I'm a baker. Cool, 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 cool. But this is totally great. <laughs> Love a brand new friendship challenge! <laughs> oh, okay, and. Oh, oh, I'm totally off my game! The peculiar purple pie man, my baking hero, and the genius behind those purple pie shops on every corner of the city moved into the berry works. That should be the best thing ever. <laughs> hey there! <laughs> hey, never mind! <laughs> Except he barely notices me. <sighs> You okay, Shortcakes? You haven't been yourself since the peculiar purple pie man moved in. Your energy is way off. I know, I'm sorry. I thought if I ever met one of my heroes, we'd become best fairies, you know? Share baking tips, gossip until the sun goes down. You won't even talk to me. You're putting too much importance on somebody else's opinion. Your emotional well-being shouldn't be dependent on somebody you hardly know. What? I don't like feelings, but I understand them. Lemon's right. You don't need every berry to like you. We like you because we know you. You're right, Huck. Uh, I am? If the pie man gets to know me, he'll like me. I'm totally likable. <laughs> I just have to prove it to him. <laughs> she almost got it. Read My Peculiar Purple Life by the Purple uh. Pie Man? Oh. Ah, 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 ahem. You and me, could it be a friendship recipe? You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you, sad souffle. What's wrong with Strawberry? She can't get over the fact the purple pie man doesn't like her. We're trying to come up with ways to cheer her up. Oh, pfft. she doesn't need cheering up. She needs sense smacked into her with a spatula. <gasps> I'll do it. Get it together. Who cares what the pie man thinks? Well, what if he doesn't notice me because I'm not worth noticing. <sighs> Get over it already. You've been the most confident Barry I have ever met since the day you got here. Nothing I tried could stop you. That's true. You didn't get all mopey when we first met, and I didn't like you. Yeah, but with you, my strawberry senses were tingling. I knew you'd come around. Well, I did. Why else would I be standing here acting all sweet and caring? <gasps> You're right! Obviously. I need to stop worrying what other berries think. Just be the berry I know I can be. Exactly. Because eventually, every berry will like me. Well, that's not exactly... Listen up! I don't need to prove anything to you. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. You're about to find out just how awesome I can be. Have this muffin. Or don't. Either way, I made it and it's delicious. <sighs> she almost got it right. Tell me about it. 
I never thought I'd say this, but it is nice to have the annoyingly happy strawberry shortcake back. Who's the best berry? I'm the best berry! Making it happen, baby. Ooh, ah! Wow, she really is a lot, isn't she? Do either of you have any sour sops? Ew, that weird prickly fruit? It may look prickly, but it's gonna taste delicious in the sour sop sponge cake I wanna bake. It's out of season. You're not gonna find it anywhere in the city. Huck, what are you doing? I saw some prickly fruits while doing a gig in... Fruit Lake Alley. Fruit Lake Alley? What's Fruit Lake Alley? It's a secret market that sells impossible to find ingredients, including out of season fruit. Run by the sneakiest berries around. They'll sell you a pie and then steal the filling. Bad news. Shortcakes hasn't lived in Big Apple City as long as we have. She thinks every berry is as nice as she is. Fruit like Alley sounds adorable! We're, We're going, going with, with her. her. Password! Hey, Caramella! Uh, why you gotta use my name up? Sorry, Caramella. This is Strawberry Shortcake, Orange Blossom, and Raspberry Tart. This is Caramella Eclair. Her dad runs... <laughs> what do you want? And can you pay? I woke up this morning and I said to myself, so let's make a sponge cake, Boa. Guys, so I looked at my rest of up, and yeah. She's nice. Hey, kid, wanna buy an egg beater? Oh, thanks. But I've already got this. <laughs> These berries will swindle us any way they can. I'm sure that's not true. They seem nice. That guy's selling melons. Hollow melons. Well, that cake looks delicious. It's frosted with toothpaste. <gasps> I'm starting to think these berries might not be trustworthy. <sighs> the crumb father of Fruit Leg Alley. Also, my dad. Caramel Tartufo. Mm, my sweet Caramella tells me you're looking for a soursop. Very difficult to obtain. Luckily, I have a batch that just came in from Banana Beach for a price. Well, my friend won't pay a nickel over market value. We didn't come here to get cheated. Before we continue and I respond to your disrespect, Give me a moment to sample this banana bread made from my mama's delicious recipe. <coughs> this is not my mama's fluffy banana bread! Until the baker gets it right, Fruit Lake Alley is closed! Everybody out! Uh, Overmix better. I can fix that. Why would you do this for me? a better place one treat at a time. Huh? You've done me a kindness today, Strawberry Shortcake. This is what my mama used to make. The sour sop is yours. You're all welcome in Fruit Leg Alley anytime as my special guests. There you go. Always do the right thing if you just... Hey! Where's my stuff? Yo, Dan, yes! Put it back! We definitely would have cheated her if she hadn't won my dad over. Yo, keep an eye on your friend. She's way too trusting. <laughs> oh. Want to rise above the rest? Do you have what it takes to be a peculiar purple protege? <gasps> I've been wanting to find a way to show the Purple Pie Man how fantastic I am. And now he's looking for a right-hand berry. What, what? <laughs> Wait, you all want to be the Purple Pie Man's protege? Duh! An opportunity like this could jumpstart my banking career. It would be very educational. I just want to watch every berry fight. What? We're not going to fight with each other over a job. Prepare to fight with each other over a job! One of you lucky berries will soon earn the rare privilege of shadowing yours truly, all expenses unpaid. Which is applause-worthy. <laughs> Show me your best!
very best. Winning is everything. Losing is for losers. Now, let the competition begin. Balance your duties and keep me on your mind at all times. A smart berry is always a front runner. <laughs> Shoulder the load, so I don't have to. I love a determined berry who's not afraid to show she's better than the rest. Jump through any hoops I tell you to! I like a berry who flows while her friends stumble. <laughs> Divide, conquer, stay number one. Now the final competition. I've lost my keys. They're in that pie! Find them. On your mark! Get set! Tear it apart! <laughs> Berryworks is a place of friendship, community, and inclusion. But look at us! I don't know about you, but if this is how to succeed in baking, by being mean and competitive and covered in uh, pie filling, then I don't want to be successful. I want to be happy with my friends. What an adorably sweet and naive statement from Snotberry Blortcake. But friends don't win you awards. Friends don't put a pie shop on every corner of Big Apple City. It's a berry squash berry world out there. So you can be sweet, or you can be the best. Your call. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I think I can be the best without fighting the people who care about me the most. <laughs> Ugh, barf. Fine. You can all be losers together. The winner of the competition is... Her. Sour grapes! She didn't even compete! No, but she did enjoy watching you all fight. Also, she's my niece. Yay. You know what? We don't need the purple pie man. Follow me! I've got congrats on not being the purple protege cookies for everybody! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> is going all out for our Fright Ball Fright Festival. Every berry is feeling the spooky spirit. <laughs> well, almost every berry. Everything okay? Ah! Oh, sorry. Um, I know we want to make our Fright Festival super spooky, but my berry Oki cart and I aren't going to be much help. I think Fright Fall is kind of scary. Oh, huck you, sweet, sweet summer berry doesn't have to be scary. What's important is that every berry has fun and buys lots of arts terrifying tasty treats. <laughs> Sorry, just focus on the fun instead of the frights. That's what matters. <gasps> Here comes every berry. Happy bright ball! Where are they going? Survive the graveyard of losers below and come get your Fright Fall Fright exclusives! Purple pumpkin pies, purple pumpkin muffins, purple pumpkin smoothies, purple, the official color of Fright Fall! Graveyard of losers? Fine, we'll show every berry we're having way more fun down here! <laughs> All right? <laughs> Oh, how? Fun instead of frights. That's it. Anybody know what he's talking about? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, listen, every berry, it's a scary time of year. But don't freak out, cause you've got nothing to fear. Tricking out. We're throwing a party and it's gonna be sweet. Oh, oh, the fright, it's a scary oaky night. Oh, oh, the fright, it's a scary oaky night. Pass the microphone. Let the music grow as it flows, you will see. No need 
into the spirit. <laughs> it's happening! Back in Berryville, one of my favorite Fright Ball traditions was going to Pumpkin Crumble's Pumpkin Patch to pick the perfect pumpkin carving pumpkin. <laughs> Say that three times fast. The portable pumpkin patch is here. Oh, oh your name is Paul? Love that. I'm Blueberry Muffin. Nice to meet you. Can't wait to carve this one up. <gasps> I love the smell when you slice them open. Oh, I love reaching in and pulling out the pumpkin guts. Oh, let's get carving. Stop! What are you doing? We're carving pumpkins. <gasps> You're monsters. They don't know what they're talking about, Paul. These sweet vegetables have hopes and dreams. They don't want to be carved. I... What? Ugh. Blueberry, I don't think carving hurts the pumpkins. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, Paul says it does. Ugh. I love carving pumpkins for Fright Fall, but I really don't want to upset Blueberry. Oh, what to do? They're watching us. So... What's the plan? We could just explain to her that pumpkins don't have feelings. And we're sure about that, right? Hey! Just checking. Okay. Let's just talk her through this. Hey, Blueberry! So we... She's gone. Yeah, should have seen that coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, friends. What brings you to this place in the universe? <laughs> No, we were just wondering where our pumpkins wandered off to. I have no idea. Maybe somewhere where they wouldn't be sliced and diced like vegetables. Technically, they're fruit. Hmm. Fine! Take the pumpkins and go! <laughs> Satisfy your barbaric instincts! The blueberry! It won't be as much fun without you! We just want to make the pumpkins look cool for Freyfall. And must you carve them? Well, um... Actually, no. No, I guess we don't. don't work for every berry. That's why we make new traditions. It's not what you do that matters, it's who you do it with. Wow, these turned out great. And they're all in one piece. Hey, every berry, check this out. <gasps>
Uh, what? Is this a dream? Am I naked? Ah! <sighs> oh, well, was I ever wrong? Pumpkins love being carved. It makes them feel special. <laughs> Boy, pumpkins are hard to understand. I'm much better at speaking sweet potato. <sighs> Raspberry and I join forces for a special hair a berry pie. We have so many orders, we can't leave to deliver them. Luckily, I uh, know a berry. Who has two thumbs and a berry -okey wagon that makes deliveries? This berry, right here. <sighs> no way. What? Puck is very reliable. <laughs> <laughs> this order goes to Fruit Leg Alley. Nothing can go wrong with Caramel Tartufo's pies. Luckily, I know a berry. No, I'm too busy. And also, no! Please, Fred, I need some very smart, punctual, and fabulously responsible to keep an eye on. Well, we all... I know she's just flattering me to get what she wants, but it doesn't mean it's not true. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to follow my plan exactly to get these pies delivered on time. No questions, no conversation, no... Huck. <gasps> no unscheduled stops! Mr. Mangosteen was just telling me foxberries are in season! We don't have time for foxberries. Okay, let's get... Huckleberry, where are the pies? Give us back our pies! Please! <laughs> So, how's it going? Completely under control. Really? We'll call you back. <laughs> Whoa, Brad, that was almost a disaster. Okay, if we take Cinnamon Street. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> And then I said, cheese, mister, you gouda fooled me. <laughs> oh, thanks, Hawk. So funny and helpful. Here, I bought extra nutmeg. My way of saying thank you. Huckleberry! Look, Brad, Mrs. Crumbcake just gave us thank you, nutmeg. Oh, does she have any focus on your job, Ginger, to go with it? Uh, I don't think that's a real spice. Come on. <laughs> Am I being punished? I feel like I'm being punished. It's okay. I'm sure Mr. Tartufo will understand. I don't understand. To say I've been waiting all day would be an understatement. Sir, we could give you excuses, but life's real adventure is the journey. So we made sure these pies went on an adventure so big that you would taste their journey in each bite. I accept your nonsensical answer. I will consider our business concluded. Okay, let's get going. Uh, Mr. Tartufo, do I smell bilberries? Good nose. These bilberries recently fell off the back of a truck. Please take some on your way out. Awesome! What took you two so long? I'm sorry, I tried, but he just kept being him. Why is he your delivery, Barry? What ingredients did we need for tomorrow's pies again? Nutmeg, bilberries, and foxberries. What's that have to do with any? That is why. Thanks, Huck. Don't thank me. Thank my berry bestie, Brad. If it wasn't for him, who knows where I would have ended up. How? Don't worry, buddy. I'll teach you to be a delivery berry just like me. Great. So you two can be our delivery berries again tomorrow, right? No! Yes. It means yes. The Cuban Time Museum is hosting a food truck festival. Blueberry Muffin is going to meet me there. Because what's better than cupcakes or ice cream? Cupcakes and ice cream. <laughs> Thanks for tagging along, Orange. Of course. Sometimes it's fun to get out of the berry works and enjoy the sun, the fresh air, the... <laughs> Traffic. I'm sure we can get around it. <clears throat> berry one to Berry Blue, Orange and I are in a teensy little traffic jam on Apricot Avenue. How's the dreamery creamery? Over. Roger, Roger. Apparently the universe wants me to stay right here on Watermelon Way, but I've got my friend keeping me company, so we're cool. So c c cool. See? 
They're cool, we're cool, everybody's cool. <laughs> Let's just find a detour out of this jam. Try that way. You got it. Wow, everybody's out today, huh? Over there. <laughs> really don't want to be late. Have a whole lot of cupcakes to sell. Oh no, Blueberry's ice cream could melt. She must be freaking out. I'm totally freaking out! Because I love this song! <laughs> what? No. I know. Uh -huh. Ow. Why? Right, how about we take a break from the honking and play some tunes? Traffic is making me hungry. Here you go. Oh, right. Thanks, Blueberry. Huh? Ah. Oh. Here you go for the little one. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. is our new home. We live here now. You, me, and dozens of our little cupcake children. We'll raise them as our own. And we'll never see our friends again. You taste like sunshine and sleepovers. Hey, berries! Blueberry? Huck? Is this some kind of traffic mirage? Are you real? Reality is just a concept. So is money. Oh, look how much we made. Woohoo! Turns out traffic jams make people way hungrier than regular jam. Traffic jams are the best. <laughs> you mean we could have sold the cupcakes here in traffic? Cupcakes, get you! <laughs> Simply enough. Are you sure about this, Orange? Totally! My dad uses this momentum mixer every berry bounty banquet for his chunky gravy. It should work out great for your strawberry foam. Ooh, I need a big batch for Honeydew Sorbet's birthday. Oh, I have to pick up some strawberries. But I will be back in five minutes. Leave it to me. You get perfect foam, I get a great workout. Just tap me on the shoulder when you get back. I'll be in the zone. Uh, you missed the trash can. Oh, did I? <sighs> Don't worry. I've got it. Gee whiz. Thanks, neighbor. <sighs> <laughs> Sour grapes, can I interest you in my new poppin' papaya cone? Papaya ice cream and a whole lot of firework flakes. My treat. Free. Why? The universe told me you should have it. <laughs> huh. I give you the embiggening ring. Imagine how many drinks we'll get from one embiggened fruit. Are you sure it won't, uh... <sighs> Only one way to find out. Whoa! Can I try one? Sure. Just don't switch it to shrink. That's still in beta testing. <gasps> Let me go grab my tools. Mm. Where 
did you get that cone? Blueberry gave it to me for free. Niece, how many times must I tell you? We don't support local businesses, even if it's free. <laughs> Purple Pie Man. Ah, please. I had nothing to do with this. Huh, the shrink feature works. Score! I demand to be returned to my normal Pie Man stature! Well, okay. But we should probably clean up first, though, right? <laughs> oh, how dare you! You'll never get away with this! Once I'm no longer sprinkle sized, there will be a reckoning! One, two, three, switch! One, two, three, switch! One, two, three, switch! It's the Berry Bounty Banquet! I thought this year the gang could take part in my family's Berry Bounty tradition. Running in the Berry Bounty Bolt. Well, winning the Berry Bounty Bolt for Team Orange. Who number one! Orange's family is a little competitive. But I'm sure it's a friendly kind Who's of... Who's ready to come in second place? Well, I hope it's friendly. Okay, give me one good reason we should be up this early. Winning and proving that we are the Berry Bounty bestest? That's a great reason. Look here, Mika. Many cultures run barefoot to increase tread time. Barefoot? But I got us matching limited edition Wick ovens. Look how fabulous they are. Sorry, Dad. I'm with Pops on this one. Fast over fabulous today. Breathe in success, breathe out the doubt. Damn it! How are those runaway booties? Ugh. Runway 3000s, Dad. Uh, Dad, what are you doing? Just getting in the spirit. Ugh. Everybody ready? The bolt goes through Golden Delicious Park, down fifth to Times Pear, over the hurdles by Blooming Berries, and finally across the finish line back at the Berry Works. Every family member needs to cross the finish line to come in first place. And may the best berry win, right? Right? We know who the best berries are, but may the second best berries come in right behind us. <laughs> Fast and fabulous? Oh, who knew? Right here, Dad. Get out of my way, Blueberry! This is where the universe wants me to be! <laughs> Not today, shortcakes. On your left! <gasps> Looks like being competitive runs in my family. Get it? <laughs> Wait up, kids! <laughs> Winners! <gasps> we won? won? Uh, what? Uh, Orange, I hope you 
all aren't too... That was awesome! We haven't had competition like that in years! You all sure made a step up our game! Can't wait till next year! Well, all this friendly competition made me hungry. Bring on the Berry Bounty Banquet. Let's eat! Shortcakes, it's 7 a.m. Seriously? Oh. Huh, is a Berry Bounty breakfast a thing? Can we make that a thing? Ow! <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, no! This is horrible! Hey, Lemon, do you have any extra huh. of those? Oh. Ooh! Okay, mm what is happening? <gasps> Lemon! Fusion Mary wants to interview you about your inventions! That's awesome! Also, what's Fusion Berry? It's the technology and innovation website. Every tech head in the city reads it. And that makes you nervous? They want me to talk about one of my inventions. You love talking about how everything should be bigger, stronger, more powerful. To my friends. Not to some science stranger. Morning. <gasps> Who should do it? Me? I don't know anything about your inventions. But you're so good at talking and words and stuff. Come on. Hey, Barry, good rotation on Earth's access to you. I plum pudding from Fusion Berry. You must be the incomparable lemon meringue. <laughs> I'm not lemon. This is lemon. Pleasure to meet your intellect. Oh, and of course, formalities are an unnecessary precursor. Please, show me your best innovation. No. I know, right, Lemon? Who can pick from so many great inventions? I mean, there's the Dream Clean 3000. Bitch exploded. Oh, the Sparkberry Turbo Cooler. Oh, yeah. Um, the Cake Nader? So many Cake Naders. Great inventors are always trying and failing. That's inventing. What's your neural noggin working on now? Oh. Oh, that's a uh, lemon. What are you doing with my cat? I call it the Kitty Cannon! Oh, marvelous. Such precision. Such <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, might you have any inventions that perhaps are less of the exploding variety? Uh. <gasps> yes! She does! Ta da! My very, very oven! Oh, it's an oven. Not just any oven. It's got a, um, well, it's actually hooked up to the, well, it's pink. Oh. Strawberry is a really good baker and has to serve lots of customers. This is custom made bigger for maximum bakage and extra racks inside and it's hooked up to the truck's Sparkberry energy intake so it's extra powerful just the way Strawberry likes it. Just to be clear, not all my inventions are pink. I knew she had it in her. Perhaps a demonstration of baking might be in order? Fresh from my one-of-a-kind lemon meringue made oven, I call it a galaxy cake. That was galactically good. Lemon, thank you for an illuminating afternoon. I'll post the article tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Not bad for some berry who doesn't like talking about herself. I'm glad Strawberry was there to speak up for me. But I'm also glad she has no idea how to talk about tech stuff. But help me figure out how I like to express myself. Outstanding oven helps Strawberry Shortcake bake it big in the city. Lemon, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have talked so much. That article is fantastic. It's all about my oven, not me. And the oven looks amazing. It sure does. Maybe more of your inventions should be pink. Don't push it, Shortcake. Oh, come on! I've never seen so much snow. What are we supposed to do all day? It's a snow day. We're doing it. A snowstorm is the universe's way of saying, slow down and relax. I need plans. I need to-do lists. I need to be doing something! Ever since the purple pie man moved into the berry works, I've had to be on my A-game. I can't relax! I have to come up with more baking brilliance. Mmm. Sock cobbler, anyone? First of all, 
Ew. Second, no Barry's getting anything done today, so just take it easy. Delivery to Mrs. Rumcake, Mr. Mangosteen, Peach Trifle. Fly, my pretties! Fly! No Barry is getting anything done except the purple pie man who is selling his frozen pies to all my best customers. Where are you going? She digs fast when she's freaked out. Ah, Lemon, I need to get in my truck. Do you have an open Sesame 2000? A teleportation device? A rocket launcher? I mean, if she wants to blow something up. Oh, uh, no. Almost got it! <gasps> hey, girl. Listen, I'm always thinking about baking, too. But it is okay to take a day off. Especially when there's nowhere for customers to buy anything anyway. <gasps> If we want customers to come to us, they need a reason! We'll build a snow oasis! <laughs> that is not what I meant. If we build it, they will come! <laughs> we should probably follow her. I think that's for the best. Ooh, this could be a snow couch in here, a snow chair for two berries to curl up in, and maybe a snow oven? Snow oven? On it! Watch and burn. She's about to lose it. Ah, well, what are you gonna do? That's it? You aren't upset no berry is coming to your little made-up snow shop? Nah. Building all this and having fun with my best berries was kind of perfect. Besides, it's nice to slow down and take a day off once in a while. You know what I mean? Yeah, if only some berry had said something like that to you earlier. I still don't love that the Pie Man is selling so many pies today. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. The Pie Man's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. And you gotta be smart operating machines in cold weather. Otherwise, the batteries freeze. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> it's Bite of the City. The Peculiar Purple Pie Man has a special holiday announcement. Indeed, Kiki. Buy one of my frozen purple pies, and if you find one of these five tokens baked inside, you've won a month's supply of my new frosted mini pies! <laughs> Aw, the Purple Pie Man's feeling the winter swirl spirit. We should buy a pie. I won't buy it, because I don't buy it. He's cheating. I know it. How? The tokens are in the pies. You aren't putting the tokens in the pies? Of course not. Why should I give away a month's supply of mini pies? Because that's what you said on TV? Niece, we let the customers think they can win, so they'll buy more pies. It's a victimless crime. Every berry wins, except the customers. So what about the tokens? Lock them in the register after the shop closes. And don't forget the alarm. I don't need some dishonest berry stealing a token to come Collect pies I have no intention of baking. Wow. We need to get those tokens and get them into some pies. But we can't do it alone. We need to put together a crew. We need a berry who knows her way around the berry works. The compass. So, uh, is there a way into the purple pie shop that isn't the front door? Yep, there's an air shaft leading right to it. We'll need a berry who knows tech. The brain. Never build anything strong enough to suspend a berry in the air. Automatic licorice dispenser. Yippee pie! Berries. We need a berry that's light, fast, graceful, 
the feather. You, uh, mind being upside down? Does this answer your question? And a berry to watch our backs. The eyes! I can see the past, the present, and the future. Just waiting for Sour to leave, then Orange can snag the tokens. Over. is gone, but there's some scary purple lasers on the floor. Careful, Orange. I've got this! Bingo! Well, that was easy. I can't believe it worked! It almost didn't. Good thing Sour Grapes left the tokens out for Orange. Huh? Let's give Kiki Key Lime a call. Jingle bells, snort cake smells. Oh! I can't believe Sunberry found all five of your tokens. What? That can't be. Oh, yeah, it can. No, 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 there's been a mistake. I got the tokens. Give me my pies. They're still my pies, and I won't give them away if I don't want to. <clears throat> oh, you, sir, I didn't help Mommy. <laughs> Claire's dad runs some shady business in Fruit Leg Alley. Not the kind of berry you want to mess with. That's why we gave her the tokens. Mission accomplished, berries. We're a pretty good crew. My tinsel team, the Strawberry Six. Or maybe the Shortcake Seven. No stress, no pressure. Just have to, uh, you know, get absolutely everything done. Left to do baking, last minute shopping, decorating the clubhouse for our winter swirl party, picking out the perfect winter swirl tree for my family, finding a dress for the holiday party, building bread pudding, a snow machine that turns the berry works into a winter wonderland. There's There's just not not enough time. time! What time does blooming berries close? I gotta get a belt, an engine belt for the snow machine. <laughs> you berries need to relax and enjoy the holidays. We'll enjoy the holidays if we can get everything done in time. There's always enough time. That's what makes Winter Swirl so magical. Every Winter Swirl, Cinnamon Swirl flies her cinnamon sleigh around the world. If she can do that in one night, then we can get everything done too. Yeah, but Cinnamon Swirl has magic. And an army of berrykins baking all our treats. I'm not sure there's any magic that can help us get everything done. Oh, I think there is. There's magic in the air. A special magic swirling everywhere. We'll be okay this holiday. Even though it's true that we have so much to do, the real magic here is doing it all with you. So just sing bye.
can't believe we got all that done. Pretty magical. Really just good time management. I bet even Cinnamon Swirl would be impressed. Wow! I have a feeling she is. <laughs> Winter Swirl is the most magical time of year. It's Bite of the City! <laughs> huh? oh! We're throwing a little soiree in the clubhouse so we can all watch Kiki Key Lime Super Sweet New Year's Eve Special! We're just hours from the countdown and a live performance from Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairy! I love the Berry Fairy! <gasps> My argument's a legendary contrary! Till midnight when the gumball drops in time spare. Or right here. It's a mecha mini gumball dropper. Sink to the big one in time spare. Lemon, that's great. But there's only one place I want to be tonight, and that's right here with my fairy besties. Strawberry, we have to go now. Raspberry, what are you talking about? Check your phone. Kiki Key Lime invited the two of us to hang out. <laughs> but. We made these plans, and... Do not even worry about it. The universe and Kiki want you there. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> this is all very sweet, but we have to go! Best New Year's Eve ever! Kiki will be here shortly. Help yourself to craft services. <gasps> Look at us. Backstage craft services, waiting for Kiki Key Lime. We have arrived. This is our destiny. <laughs> huh. Our destiny is kind of cold. Well, I'm sure Kiki, Kiki just needs to recover from those bright lights on stage. Besides, it's not that cold. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a little cold. There they are. Strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart. I'm so glad you can make it. We are going to have so much fun. Tell me absolutely everything you've been up to. Well, we were so excited to come here because we knew that you... Sherry Bobbleberry is going to be late. She can't be late. We can't postpone midnight. <sighs> Sorry, girls. I need to handle this tiny thing. Then it's all us. You're going to love it up on that stage. I'm sure she'll be right back. ever wanted. We're almost ready for you. In just a few minutes, you'll be standing next to Kiki and waving. Won't that be the best New Year's ever? Best New Year's ever. Right. Okay, maybe tonight's not perfect. It's cold and Cherry Bumbleberry was late. But the two of us are going to get to stand on stage near Kiki Key Lime. Every fairy will see us up there. What could possibly be better than this? Well... It's almost gumball drop time! There's Kiki! But where's Raspberry and Shortcakes? Shouldn't they be with her? Nah, they had better places to be. Huh? You're back? The universe did not prepare me for this. W what happened? Well, we told Kiki that we really appreciated her invite, but there was only one place we wanted to be tonight, and that's right here, with our very besties. Aww. Aww. Besides that gumball in Times Pear, not nearly as impressive as a mecha mini gumball dropper. Ten, Hurry up, it's nine, time! Eight, seven! Okay, six, you're right. Five, this four, is better. Three, <laughs> I know. Two, two one! one. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon! Oh, to be a pet and not have a care in the world. But hey, being a busy fairy is a good thing. Every berry is loving Granberry Jam's famous triple berry jelly donut recipe. Mwah. Thanks, Granberry Jam. Without your special card, I'd be lost. Aha! Uh -huh. Without that recipe card, short berry snot cake would be lost. I need to steal it. Or since you're a baker, you could, I don't know, go with me here, bake something. Once I send Snot Cake into a self-doubt spiral, I'll bake something better than she could dream of! Sour Goops, has my protege helped me steal that card? Strawberry doesn't deserve that. 
Oh, even after she didn't come to your surprise party yesterday? What surprise party? When Noberry showed up, I didn't tell you about it, because I care. So? Oh, fine. Whatever. Can I help you? Jelly in a donut. Wowza, how did you come up with that? My cranberry jam, actually. How interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm sorry, allergic to donuts. <laughs> this is it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Oh, you, you won the very work sweepstakes. Go out front to claim your prize. I don't even remember entering a sweepstakes. <laughs> I'm done for today. I knew I didn't sign up for a sweepstakes. Wow. Must have had the wrong berry. Great mustache, though. Oh, thank you, Custard. The most important ingredient is confidence. Love always, cranberry jam. See? I'd be lost without her special card. Wow. Aw, you've been laying around all day. What are you so exhausted about? My secret is just the right amount of icing with a cute little swirl for the cherry to sit on. This is exactly the kind of specificity my game needs. Totally. I'm always up for new adventures, and helping out on a baking game sounds super fun. Oh, it will be. Until the cupcake comes to life and bake good goes bad. Baking bad cupcake apocalypse. It's gonna be epic! I gotta go. Meeting some other berries at Starfruit Express later. Did that little berry say Starfruit Express? Why don't we all go too? Starfruit! <gasps> nice! Yes! What is Starfruit Express? <gasps> Only the coolest roller skating rink ever! You go ahead. I've got things to do that are things. Shortcakes? Spill it. Fine! I can't roller skate at all. Total disaster! So go on without me, because nothing is getting me to put wheels on these feet. Uh, bad idea! Big mistake! Huge! Didn't you just tell Applebite you were always up for new adventures? I meant adventures without tiny wheels on my feet! I'm sure you're not that bad. never gives up. Well, this one does, so just go on without me. I'll just hold you back. I'm a lost cause. Hey, you're always helping any berry who needs it. Yeah, so? So, even the berry who's always helping others is allowed to get help once in a while. Life's not always easy. We're not gonna win them all.
And my dad designed a dress for Banafi. Banafi? Lime's dad designing Banafi's fresh mint gala dress is huge. I can't wait to see what he's come up with. <gasps> Correct response. Like cotton candy clouds floating in a blue sky, Banafi will slide that runway as soon as she gets here. I'm sure Banafi's going to love it, Dad. Of course she will. I made it. Yeah, fluffy chiffon. Every year he refuses to dress me. And every year his design rules the runway. Oh, but not this year. This year I will rule the pink carpet. Have you seen what you're wearing? It's jelly bean realness. Doesn't matter. Like Grandpa Pie Crust always said, if you can't win fair and square, cheat. My Fluffy, this gown is quite the look, as always. I can't wait to see it on Banafi. Oh! <gasps> my dress! Oh, oh my how clumsy of sour grapes this... to bump into me. I <clears throat> Such a shame. You would almost think this was on purpose if it wasn't so obviously an accident. Oh, well, no use crying over total humiliation. Adieu! <laughs> Banafi can't wear this. I'm ruined! It's okay. We'll save the dress. Lime is right. There's always a solution. We can fix this. <laughs> you should stick to baking. Oh, that's more garden party mint confection. Pass! Mm, it's a choice, but not a good one. It doesn't say fluffy chiffon. That says fluffy chevalier! <laughs> My cranberry jam always says failure is the first ingredient in the recipe for success. Well, if cranberry jam has a recipe for a stunning runway gown that transcends fashion, send it my way. Tell me you have an amazing idea. I have an amazing idea! <laughs> wow. You did say I should stick to baking. Hello. Banafi! <laughs> uh, before uh, you say anything, I know it's not what we discussed, but... Uh, Stop talking, because I love it! How did you come up with something so delicious? <laughs> Hi. Hi, man! Hi, man! Hi, man! Who are you wearing? Well, no designer is as talented as me, so I... Is that Banafi? What is she wearing? <laughs> Banafi, tell us why you chose this delicious dress. As a transberry, I love living out loud as my most authentic self. And I wanted to dress as bold and unique as I am, which, let's face it, is a tall order. With Fluffy Chiffon's help, I found two brand new designers who blew me away. This is a Shortcake Chiffon original. Strawberry, lime, what was your inspiration? Well, uh... 
I guess you could say... Defying confection. <laughs> we are having a slumber party. It's going to be the best slumber party I've ever been to. Actually, it's the only slumber party I've been to. So I made the sweet and salty snack mix, and I am so ready to... I do... What do you do at a slumber party? Book club. Things could get intense. Ah! Scary movie marathon! Mm. Oh, the theme of tonight is relaxation. Junk food! <laughs> I am all about tea parties. Trez chic! That's French, like the fries. It's gonna be perfect. But Elizabeth Lanye wanted nothing to do with Mr. Parsley. What? Trying to watch a movie here. Oh. In through the nose, out through the mouth. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, kind of feeling like we're not all on the same slumber party page here. Speaking of pages, if we could all turn to page 394. Speaking of party, how about a proper tea party? <laughs> Scary movie marathon. Relaxing spot getaway! <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I have an idea. What if we take turns? Each berry gets a set time for their activity, and when this timer goes off, we switch. That way, every berry gets their dream slumber party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this chai needs to steep for just a bit longer, then we get... Never mind. Battle. <sighs> Just as you're finally relaxed, you need to. Ah! I said relaxed! Elizabeth Benye's hand brushed Mr. Parsley's, and she finally knew that. <gasps> what? What did she know? Ta da! <laughs> slumber party would go. Damn it! My remote! Little! Did everything about this slumber party is a disaster! <laughs> Not everything. This snack mix shortcakes made is great. Oh, thanks, Orange. It's a mix, actually, of sweet and salty flavors. They're really different, but when you combine them, it's... <gasps> Holy donuts! That's it! I know how to save the slumber party! Mr. Parsley, how dare you? Wow, the movie version is even better than the book? It's so good. I don't even mind that it's not scary. Here you go. Way to go, shortcakes. Combining our different things into one big thing made the perfect slumber party. Like any great recipe, it's how the ingredients blend together that makes the magic happen. And this is the slumber party of my dreams. Coachella is Big Apple City's biggest music festival. So, Blueberry offered to be my food truck placement guru to help me find the perfect spot to set up the extraordinary berry. Here your journey begins. This is the light in the darkness. The what? Oh, smell that? Smellspiration has hit, and I must follow my nose. Have fun. The light in the darkness. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. This is the perfect spot! Turbo boost! <laughs> Lime tart and lemon tart, right? I'm strawberry shortcake. We know a lot of the same berries. So uh, you probably didn't see me there. All good, it's all good. But I was actually parked here first, so... The Poachella permit that I'm sure you also have says anyone can park anywhere at any time. Anytime is now. Anywhere is here. 
Maybe there's another anywhere that's not totally blocking berries from seeing my truck? This longitude and latitude gives us the exact location for optimal performance. And this spot is big enough that I can hit the turbo turbo boost! I said one turbo boost only. Seriously, give me that thing. <laughs> Minor setback, but there's got to be somewhere else with even more light, right? Here my journey begins. It's the light and darkness. Uh, what's that for? You're parked on a sinkhole. Oh, it doesn't look like me. Uh -uh. Okay, light. Show me what you. What? what? Okay. No. Sinkholes, no falling trees, no creepy birds. This has to be it! Oh, come on! We needed a bigger spot for the turbo turbo boost. The Pochella permit states. I know what it states! Oh, the festival's about to open. Now I'll never get any customers. Light in the darkness. I was all over the light! And I still ended up in darkness and totally blocked from the... Oh, I'm in serious need of a snack and shade. Whoa, you open? <gasps> Find the light is finding the silver lining in any situation. Hey, every berry! Need a break from the heat? Come get a Pochella pastry and enjoy some cool shade. Clever berry. What? Were you up there this whole time? Yep. I've been boiling cabbage. Mm. <gasps> That's what that smell was? <laughs> I know, right? Total yum. It's my newest ice cream creation. Boiled cabbage and marshmallow cone. Mm. <laughs> oh, can you eat that somewhere else? The Pochella permit states you can eat anything, anywhere. Anything is a boiled cabbage marshmallow cone and, well, you know the rest. Ooh, it's an acquired taste. Hey, hey, Orange, ready to... What? Is everything okay? I can't believe what just happened in the terrific tales of Tangerine Smash. It's so epic. <laughs> What's so funny? It's cute how into it you get. I mean, it's just a comic book. Just a comic book? Tangerine Smash and her sidekick Lava Girl have inspired me my whole life. I mean, they're colorful. I guess I just don't get it. Being a super berry means you can make a difference. Make the world a better place. Well, our world is gonna be a better place when we get through these to-do lists. Am I right? Uh, sure. What's more super than a to-do list? Another day, same stuff to do. It's okay, just push on through. Imagining how different life could be If I could let my inner hero free Picture me A super berry Strong and brave and awesome Oh me A super berry Watch my powers blossom Take to the sky Up, up and away Dazzling the world as I save the day And be That's right, I'll save the day, I'll win the fight. Imagine just how great my life would be. Up in the clouds, the world below. Hey, every berry, watch me go. I'll be the perfect hero, guaranteed. Picture me, a super berry, strong and brave and awesome. Oh, me, a super berry, watch my around 
doing it all you do. It's true, the real hero is there inside of you. All the greatness you can be makes you every bit a hero to me. Everywhere you go, everything you do makes you a hero too. So just be a super very strong and brave and awesome. Yeah, just be a super very let your talent blossom. Saving the day, reach for the sky. Get ready, well, cause I'm ready. Shortcakes? What are you doing? I get it. I always say I want to bake the world a better place. Tangerine Smash and Guava Girl do the same thing, just with more punching and less pastries. So you like comics now? Well, my very bestie says comic books made her who she is. And she is pretty super. I've always wanted a sidekick. I'll be your Guava Girl anytime. <laughs> Right, she thinks chocolate is too expected. The pressure. Poppy Corn, the famous photographer slash filmmaker slash social media superstar, wants me to bake her a cake, which could be huge. Because when she likes something... Obsessed. But when she doesn't... This should not exist. Do not want. Pass. Ugh. Maybe I should say I'm too busy? No way! Let's check Poppy's socials. It says here she loves cute details, precision, the color Viridian, and... Woo! Check this out, a contest to win her new book. <gasps> Sign me up! I can help with precision. My Lend a Hand 5000 is just the helping hand you need. Be right back. Just stay focused. Take a deep breath in. Stand up straight. Breathe out, Sharkies. <laughs> Sorry. I don't usually doubt myself like this. I wish there was a way to know what I should do. Maybe there is. Your future is but a palm reading away. Palm reading? Uh, seriously? Actually, research on palmistry does show you can learn a lot from the lines on your hands if you can read them correctly. Ah! That is not correctly. <laughs> of course it is. Book, see? Not really. And what does book say about my future and... Huh? <gasps> I want Poppy Corn's book! <laughs> uh, that is quite a coincidence. Hmm. Do me! Do me! Gold. Oh, you got it dead on. I win all the time. I'm the gold medal kid! All right, say hello to the Linda Hand 5000. Hmm. Boom. Boom. What boom? Definitely boom. Okay, I believe. Bestow your wisdom upon me, great and wise blueberry. Stop. Stop? That's it? Like, stop baking? I don't get it. Because that's not how you read palms. She was right about my lend a hand going <laughs> Your inventions always explode. I love books. And gold? What does that even mean? What do you think, Blueberry? It doesn't matter what I think. What does Strawberry think? Well, all your readings made sense. So maybe I should stop baking? Is that really what you think? I mean, that doesn't feel like me. I just wanted to nudge in the right direction so I would stop doubting myself. Oh, I get it now! Voila! But it's chocolate. So, is palm reading real? I don't know. But Blueberry did help me realize I needed to stop doubting myself and trust my instincts. And as for Poppy... Sorry, it's a must try. <sighs> I knew you'd figure it out. I'm glad things worked out for Strawberry. But that doesn't mean you were right about palm reading. Gold didn't mean anything for Orange. Hey, look out below! <laughs> huh? <sighs> I'm solid gold, baby! Here you go. 
Thank you, Strawberry. It's my skydiving instructor's birthday today. Oh, dear! My sitter is sick! How can I hit that drop zone with no one to watch Honeydew Sorbet? Sorry, Grammy Crumb Cake. I know you love skydiving. <laughs> now, Mary, sit! I can fill 50 cupcake orders in a day without breaking a sweat. Berry sitting a sweet little berry like honeydew. Total piece of cake. You're sure it's no trouble? Oh, not at all. I would be so happy to. Yeah, okay. I so appreciate your help. I'll be back in one hour. You big guy! Okay, honeydew. What do you want? Ha! Yep, that's not good. Hey, strawberry, do you have any? Oh, no. What happened? Honeydew sorbet happened. I'm berry sitting. I've read tons of books on berry sitting. Bringing a berry, happiest berry on the block, this is the perfect opportunity to put different methods to the test. You clearly need my help. Everything we need to know about berry sitting is in these books. Lime, 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 I'll be fine. She's just a little sprout. What could, oh yeah, she's gone. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yes, rambunctiousness. Speak softly to calm her down. Hi, honeydew. How about we put the... It's not working. Here, bargain. Offer her something more fun to do. How about we sit quietly and read? No reading! Huh? It's snowing! Don't get mad. Empathize with her. Honeydew, I like to have fun too, but I need that free. What does Mrs. Crumbcake feed that kid? We should support her independence. If we support her too much, she'll destroy the berry works. Come on! Control that berry. Honeydew is who knows where, and it's all Do 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hi friends. Blueberry. Hawk. How are you doing that? Oh, berry sitting is easy. Yeah, it's all about the flow, and I am so flowing with this one. She's chill. Chill like ice cream. Thank you, Strawberry. Well, oh, she's usually such a handful. <laughs> Same time next week. Huh? Oh. I think today is going to be absolutely fantastic! Whoa! Here you go! I didn't order strawberry scones, I ordered strawberry tarts! <laughs> Look, it's Clumsy Berry Batter Cake! Well, then who has my stones? Uh, uh. Close for repair. Mm. Oh, I guess we're walking home. What? Oh, come on! Hey, hey, it's my favorite niece and roomie. How's your day? Uh, fine. Great. What a day. Hmm. Anything exciting happen at work? Strawberry, did you have a bad day? What, me? A bad day? <laughs> Come on. I'm a mixing bowl is half full kind of berry. I, I always look on the bright side. And today was, it, it was, 
It's okay to have a bad day. It was awful! But I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I'm sweet. I'm optimistic. I can't have a bad day. It's just not who I am. Look, every berry has bad days. There's nothing wrong with that. Sounds like you've got the bad day blues. Bad day blues? Some days are not the best. Nothing goes your way. They put you to the test. You lose no matter what you say. So just accept it. I tell you this, it's true. It's okay to be not okay. Okay to have a bad day blues. And Raylene, I don't think this, this is nothing you can do, but push on through. It's gonna get better, I promise you. Okay. So make yourself your favorite meal. Grab a blanket, get <gasps> comfy too. Oh, girl. You gotta do what you can do. Cause it gets better. Okay, how are you feeling? Well, still not great. But I guess it's okay to feel not great once in a while. Exactly. The bad days just remind you how good the great days are. As long as we're embracing the bad day, there's still a couple pints of ice cream in the freezer. Oh, way ahead of you. Not my first bad day, I'll tell you that. Phew. You know, the bad day blues taste pretty good. Desolate, but with my purple pie storage facility. Huh? Huh? Ugh. Part of Aunt Praline's job as the mayor's chief of staff is approving proposals for new projects. Even peculiar purple proposals. I'm doing the city a favor, turning that unsightly eyesore into something useful. That eyesore is my lean green garden. The pie man has no right to demolish it. Friends with me! Demolishing a garden? Oh, no, Barry's gonna miss that pile of weeds. I just need the mayor's spunky assistant to give me her approval. I'm the mayor's chief of staff, actually. And I'll need the weekend. I think we're on the same page. <laughs> oh, what an awful man. Stop the pie, man! Oh, no, oh, hi, oh, yeah, hi, hi, man. Hello there, <laughs> strawberry shortcake. Granola crunch. Uh, lead gardener of the lean green garden. Well... Only gardener, till tomorrow, when the pie man rips it up, unless... Stop the pie man! No more pie man! is there something Granola can do to stop the pie man from destroying the garden? There is. If Granola can show her garden provides a service to the community, I can stop construction. But she just has the weekend. Up, oh, gotta go, good luck! Hey, Granola, wanna show us this garden of yours? Absolutely! You'll take one look at my garden and... Run as fast as we can in the other direction. It, um, it has potential. Every berry ready to get this garden into shape? Yeah! <laughs> Leaves and grass get composted. I'll do it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Energy efficient equipment only. You know what? I've got it. Drought resistant fruits only. Don't worry. I think I see the problem here. Granola, granola, granola. I can see how um, passionate you are about the garden. 
But if it's gonna be a service to the community, you kinda need to let the community in. But I want everything to be done the right way. Well, everything I know about baking, Sunberry had to show me. You know your stuff. Maybe you can show berries instead of doing it all alone. Berry working together made this place amazing. Oh, I love the smell of tears and demolition in the morning. What is this? This is the all new Lean Green Community Garden. Get off my property! Actually, just got off the phone with the mayor. Seeing the community come together like this, mm, 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 it is clear the garden provides an indispensable service. I'm afraid you'll have to find another spot for your pie warehouse, was it? Pie? Mm, yes. I think we're on the same page, yeah? What was your name again? <laughs> what do I want? A corporate warehouse with my face on it to store frozen pies. When do I want it? No! <laughs> uh, have you seen the latest additions to the Purple Pie Men's menu? Nope, let me guess, it's all purple. <gasps> Peculiar ice cream? Purple smoothies? Purple berry shortcake? It's everything we sell but purple! What is with the new menu? Is this any way to treat other berries? It's exactly the way to treat other berries. You want to be a world-famous baker? Ditch your friends, steal their ideas, crush their dreams, destroy their businesses. Whatever's left is yours. That's horrible! That's life! You can cry about it or take advantage of it. Your call. Oh, how can the pie man be so successful, but he's so awful? Psh, we can deal with that bozo later. Come check out Lemon's new invention with us. It's a cloaking device, makes you totally invisible. Which is why I need you to help me find it. You know what, uh, you go ahead. I need to cool down. Ditch your friends, steal their ideas, crush their dreams. <gasps> Must have dozed off. Huh. Something's different. Well, I'm not complaining, it's nice. It totally Matt matches my color scheme. Exactly. <gasps> Who said that? Huh? What? What happened to every berry's card? Why, you happened, Strawberry. You're an overnight success story. Where are you? Ah, uh, Red. <laughs> oh, my guava. Do you have any idea? No. Shortcake. So sorry. I'm getting to work right now. Okay. Yeah, that was slightly unusual. Welcome to the strawberry sweet cream cart. How can I? <gasps> it's you. Um, I have a new flavor. Shortcake swirl. It's better this time, I promise. Blueberry? <laughs> what is up with the hat? Oh no, am I wearing it wrong? Uh. <laughs> Orange. Strawberry smoothies for the shortcake slice smoothie cart. <laughs> is this a joke? We would never do that. Strawberry soda? What? What are you all doing? Whatever you want them to. You're the boss of all of us, Strawberry. <laughs> oh, pink is bad for the environment now? Seriously? Too far. Who did this? She did. Uh, well, you did. Concerned about that mustache. How could you do all this? What do you mean? This is everything we've ever wanted. But, but not like this. This is the only way. We ditched our friends, stole their ideas, crushed their dreams, destroyed their businesses. Everything left was yours. Well, mine to take. <laughs> Aren't you proud of us? <laughs> no! This isn't the only way! This is not who I am! No! Huh? A dream! A dream! <laughs> it's gotta be around here somewhere. It's normal! Your carts are here, you aren't all wearing my hat, and the sun isn't talking! Pink is good for the environment, and I don't have to wax my upper lip! And you! You're wrong. We're better together. 
I'm gonna support my friends, believe in their dreams, listen to their ideas, and help build their businesses. And no mustache! Be a better berry! Live in the now! Ugh. <laughs> Found it! I literally have no idea what's going on right now. Genoise La Creme says Strawberry Shortcake's new red velvet brownie is to die for! She likes me! She really likes me! I'd like to thank Custard, my very besties, and of course, my lucky spoon, which has always been there through thick and thin batter. Yay, yay, yay. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> Another glowing review. If you're not careful, those berry besties of yours may start to get jealous. That would never happen. That's what I thought, too. Back when I had my squad of baking buds, now it's me by myself, all alone. Hey, Uncle B, I need. Not you. now! <clears throat> <gasps> Is that the lucky spoon I've heard so much about? I'd keep an eye on that. You never know who will betray you. So, I'm like a thousand percent sure the pie man's gonna try to steal my spoon. Ugh, could he be any more obvious? Okay, pie man, give me back my... Huh? Hey, neighbor. Just taking in the news of the day. Hmm. Aha! Blueberry? What are you doing with my spoon? Oh, I didn't see it there. Maybe it was lonely and came to see my ice cream scoop. <gasps> Maybe they're in love. Aw, oh, look. They're spooning. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Blueberry. Bye. Hi, man! Uh, yeah, huh? oh, oh, hold on a sec. What's up? Huh. I'm sure I know the answer to this, but did either of you take my spoon? Why would we take your spoon when we have the Mega Stirrer? It's still just a prototype. Huh? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Man, but he's up there. The spoon's down here. My friends are down here, but they don't want the spoon. He wants the spoon. He warned me they would want the spoon, but the pie man wants the spoon. And also, who cuts their toenails in the middle of the courtyard? Nope. <laughs> no problems here. Just hanging out, staring at my spoon. <laughs> Aww. <gasps> Idea what you mean? I've never seen this crow in my life. <laughs> Ugh. You pets deserve a special treat. Follow me. You had one simple job, bird brain, but no! The only thing that's purple and reliable around here is me! He blames everybody else for everything. Having pets is the very best. Cracker? <laughs> oh. Gradually add granulated sugar and beat until stiff peaks form. Macarons! Notoriously difficult to make. But just look at these cookie cuties. How hard can they be, huh? <laughs> hard. Very hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lucky spoon by my side, there's nothing I can't make! I did it? I did it! I mastered macarons! <laughs> Hello, friends. Taste my perfect creations. <gasps> oh. 
<laughs> Why can't I get this right? Why am I so unlucky? I have a lucky spoon. Is my spoon cursed? It's not your spoon that makes you you. That's not an answer. I see. You know how to break the curse? You must ask your spoon. I'm sorry, what now? Come with me. Ooh. You must visit your spiritual swirlyverse and talk to your spoon. Uh. Hold the spoon. Close your eyes. Listen to my voice. Imagine a staircase. Oh. 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 Breathe deeply. Walk down the stairs. At the bottom is a door. Wait, there's no... Oh, never mind, we're good. Open the door and find yourself in your spiritual swirlyverse. Whoa. This is the best place ever! Find the spoon in the stone. Hey there, Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, hey. Ask you a question. What's wrong? Why can't I make macarons? Are you cursed? Am I a horrible baker? Do I need to go and... Whoa! Slow down. How long does it take to mix cake batter? What? It depends. What kind of cake? What ingredients? Do you want it fluffy or dense? Every cake is different. Exactly. Seriously, that's it? That's all you need. So, how long does it take to mix cake batter? I don't know. It takes as long as it takes. What? That mix cake is a long time. Welcome back. It takes as long as it takes? It takes as long as it takes! <laughs> so, she did talk to her spoon? Ah. Uh. Is the spoon still cursed? Oh, no, no, no. Turns out I am a lucky berry with a lucky spoon. So I'm a really good baker, but I'm still learning. Some recipes will be easy, some will be hard, but I'll figure them out. Like my spoon said, it's just going to take as long as it takes. Ready? Let's try again. Making the universe sweeter one spoonful at a time. Is it finished yet? <laughs> Finished? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is it finished? Awesome! The only berry more into lemon's inventions than lemon is orange. How about a jetpack? I have an alternative. Hey, Plum. What's up? I traversed here to inform you that the Big Apple City Science Museum is holding an inventing competition in the park today. And I deduced that Lemon might be a perfect candidate. Eh, competitions aren't my thing. But they are my thing, and inventing is your thing. This could be a perfect our thing together. Please, it could be so awesome. Uh... I guess. We're in. I'm as giddy as a gigawatt to see what gizmo you devise. We're gonna win this thing. Yay. I wonder who your competition is. Oh, lime tart and lemon tort. Lime, lime, lemon. Lemon. I'd say may the best berry win, but that would give us the advantage. Lemon is the best inventor I know. Ha! You must not know many inventors. <laughs> Come yeah. on, Lemon. Welcome, one. Welcome, all. Each team has been tasked with inventing something to help every baker be their very best. Bakers, yeah. are you ready? <sighs> well, then you may begin. <gasps> oh, okay. Looks like a robot. We can beat a robot. Yeah! Nailed it! High five! Why are they high fiving? We need 
something to high five about. Come on! No, we cannot lose. We've got to get. We've got to do nothing. But what? So, what was that all about? We were having fun competing, and then Lemon stormed off. You were having fun competing. Maybe that's not Lemon's thing. Sometimes I forget. Not every berry loves competition quite as much as I do. You're not having fun, are you? Inventing is fun. You pressure me to win, not so much. I got carried away. I'm sorry. I love winning, but I love having fun with my awesome inventor friend even more. If you want to have fun, I have an idea. I give you the big old medic! Oh, ooh, the leftovery fluffy. Next up, lemon meringue and orange blossom. A jetpack! A jetpack? Well, what does that have to do with baking? Your robot serves one cupcake at a time, but with this jetpack, you can share your baked goods with every berry. How very helpful for a culinary connoisseur like me. On behalf of the Science Museum, I declare Lemon Meringue and Orange Blossom as our winners. <laughs> now this is awesome! <laughs> Still awesome! Still awesome! Okay. It's over! It's... A broken guitar string. I can fix that in... You don't get it. Pochella auditions are today. Pochella? Big Apple City's biggest music festival. They're looking for up-and-coming talent. Winner gets to open for Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairies. But every year before my audition, something happens to mess up my groove. Lost little... Huh? anywhere important to be. Hmm. <sighs> if you look outside, you'll see we have definitely crashed. Okay. No, yeah, that is very bad. But we can fix the guitar string. And send positive vibes your way. And build a mecha guitar that sounds sweet, plus transforms into a robot that can sing pop, lock, and jam. Too much? Thanks, berries. The guitar isn't the problem. I think it's me. Poor Huck. I know he can do this. We just need to find a way to help him get his groove back. Okay, Berries, Operation Fix Huck. Let's think of something. Huck, wait! Oh, oh, keep doing that! You don't need a guitar! You just need some backup! Come on, I know you can do this Feel it deep inside of you I'll sing right beside you Together I know we can
was everything you are going to slay at Poachella. What's your band's name again? We are the Extraordinary Berries, and we can't wait to play at Poachella together. Because seriously, I cannot do this without you.